Hello, hello, Treetop Woodworking here again, and I just wanted to share with you a quick update. Uh, about to finish these off, basically what I've made is like almost a hundred little boxes. <laughs> Here's what we got going on. This one is done, this one's done finished, done stained, really turned out nice. I've smoothed all the corners, all the edges. That way, because these will be on the back of a church pew in the church. And if a kid grabs a hold of them, you know, you don't want no sharp edges or nothing. So all them smooth. But, yeah, basically, almost a hundred boxes, hundred little boxes. And all i got to do is put me a bottom on. I've got all these sanded down, but ten more. I like ten more. whole lot of sanding. And then I'll stain these. And what I'll do... I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to put a screw on the corner or just one on each side. I haven't made up my mind yet. But that's about all I like. And would have done been done, would have done been finished with this. But my, uh, my bench top sander decided to break, break down on me at the moment. And then the part it needs you can't reorder and so i'm just gonna spot weld it sometime but i'm having to finish with my hand sander there whole lot of sand <laughs> but only got these 10 over here left for sand you see this and here i done sanded you don't got to be perfect this will be the inside i'll still stain this in the outside now these outside edges i tried to get them smooth and i rounded off the corners and them too but uh, I'll still stain it. I won't stain the back side though. But I will stain this side. And uh, then all I like is just gluing them on and cutting me a piece and, and fixing the bottom and fixing my hose, how many ever decide to put in there, and that'll be done. But a whole lot of sanding, goodness. Would have done been done if my, again, if my bench top sander hadn't tuckered out on me. This is a. Uh, just using what is this? This is a, a golden pecan is what it is. I'm just wiping it on there with uh, with an old cloth of some kind. Um, just wiping it on there and that's it. But that's what it looks like. Golden pecan is what it is. Now some of these edges are darker than some of this wood. You know how wood is anyway. Some of it turned out darker, but just the way it is. The majority of this though is looks just like this and this kind of matches the what they have about as close as anything i can find so this is what i went with and it's just like a ribbon yeah i could put another coat on but it'll be inside it won't be hurting nothing it'll be it'll last forever yeah a whole lot of sanding goodness might get a little bit of me sanding here in a minute so much sanding. <laughs> Thankful for this little whiz buggy. I've been as a business for a minute. I can't believe mud and broke on me. It just it's all gone. Put me to sand in the hard way. Sure did. But that's okay too. All I'm gonna do next is just figure out some kind of bottom to put on there. And this is all the room I could have because the, the measurements on the, the church pew, they've got like a, a, a support on this side, but they have a hymnal on this side, and it was exactly <laughs> seven inches. So I did this six and seven eighths, so I'm hoping everything will work out like that. But I'm going to get back to sanding. And uh, I'll probably get back with you then. Yep, sand it. They call me the sand man. <laughs> yes, indeed. Running around all over my shop, sanding everything that needs it. Well, everybody like to have what I got. I can plane a board and and sand out a knot. <laughs> I'm the sand man. That's my name. <laughs>
Yeah, the last one. This piece was already pretty smooth. It done went through the planer. And this is just gonna be the inside of the box. And it's smooth, it's it's pretty good. The outside too, got it all fixed up, but that's the last one. See next thing I'll do is probably get these varnished up. I think I've got a cloth here to do it with. Yeah, that had to be done, 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 and done. Kind of hard sanding with this thing that holds this camera in front of me. <laughs> kind of hard to get used to. But uh, let's see. Probably start on this here in a minute, and I'll get back with you once I start uh, staining them. Just to wipe on. Um, got a birthday party going on too today. My, our youngest daughter's birthday. We have five little munchkins. Well, the oldest one's the oldest one's twenty. Well, she will be thirty-one this coming year. But. Uh, But our other daughter, she's a um, youngest daughter. She's turning 15 today. Fifteen. Yep, they're fixing cake and everything now. We got all these done. You see, I got all. See, there's 80. This here makes 90. I think I had 92, but one of them blew out on me. Corner. I was just sanding, real easy sanding. You can tell I ain't sanding much on it. But the uh, corner broke off for whatever reason. But that's okay, because again, I made extras just in case whatever happened. But I'll get back with you when I get to staining.
Well, we've got 30 more. <laughs> I'll get back with you. Oh, yeah, and this, uh, all my rags that I'm using <laughs> will be thrown on that trash pile. Just to, right there by it anyway, in case they catch a fart or not. Till I get done with them, then I'll burn them for good. If they don't burn themselves. But yeah, you gotta really watch this stuff. And, uh, this stuff here, a lot of stuff having to do with lacquer and all that. And stains and and uh, paint thinner and all that. Uh, you gotta watch your rags, what you do with them for sure. You don't wanna burn your place down. But uh, I'll get back with you. And, and this color here. A, it looks great, you know, and it matches what I really need. But um, I was really looking for an oak. I think a, a regular oak would have been just a hair darker, maybe. But I really like this golden pecan, too. So, anyway, I'll get back with you. <laughs> well, in the way, words of a, a fellow woodworker, Bearded Viking woodworking, you ought to catch his channel sometime. But in his famous words, had <laughs> a dab of glue, as he says. <laughs> if we can get her to come out here, it is. Oh, yeah. I do it. There it is. We have a straw angled on the end to get some squeeze out if we need it. I'm going to try to limit that squeeze out as much as possible though. Sad. Good deal. Well, got about ninety more to do. Well, I'll get back with you then. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of little boxes. Do I put me a bottom on sometime? I got a little lip for that, and this a little piece won't take a lot for that. I may end up 
putting some polyurethane on these. I don't know. Polly Wally. Bro, I'll get back with you. Well, as you can see, I got 10 of them done. See my high tech redneck clamping system there. <laughs> Actually, it is probably almost dry already. I'll still let them sit overnight, but anyway, you get the gist of it. Just a box. Just have to put a bottom on sometime. Yeah. Thought about polyurethane in these, putting some poly on them, but these are so smooth. And that finish is good the way it is. I only got so many times, if I want to do poly right, it takes coats and you gotta let it dry in between coats. And, but this, this is all natural. It's like an almost finish, got the beeswax and uh, sunflower seed oil and some and some other oils, peppermint uh, and, uh, and a few others. But uh, yeah, that feels good. Everything's looking good. Only got 80 more to do. <laughs> I'll see you then. My to-do list. Well, we're doing about 10 at a time. Done did almost 20. I think this is the 20th one. Go ahead and drill the holes first. And then we come back with a, uh, I call it a spade bit. I don't have a Forstner bit that little. And I went to get one at the hardware here, and I'd have to order it and wait a couple of days. Wouldn't you know it? They got all the sizes, but the size I need... Now if I can do this, see I put the put black tape on it and I just put some painter's tape just to make it a little bit bigger. But we got to where it's wanting to slide, so I put me some super glue around the end here and got it all hard and seems to be pretty well steady now, not wanting to slide. If I can do this with this camera in front of my face, I'll be alright. Should I say phone? I'm using for a camera. And see what I'm doing there. And if I have to, I can go deeper. I don't want to go too deep. I don't know how thick the material is that this is going to be going into. Of course, the turkey or chicken's got another idea, but uh, but I can always go deeper. I'm going to take my bits with me in case I go a little deeper and I got a little longer screws if I need them too and it's good when you're doing this to clean out your stuff every now and then these flies are going crazy this time of year Yeah, I just hope my bit lasts. I got, so I got uh, <laughs> 70 more to do, I think. Yeah, got that 70 more to do. kind of want to clean your bit off every time and what it is these are going into a the uh, tithe holders are going to be going into the back of um, church pews, what it is. Just, a, just another box. <laughs> just another box. Well, 
I've got these 10 done. I guess I'll. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I forgot to show you the screws I was using. I've got two different ones. I've got these pan heads, I guess you'd call them. And I forget the name of these. It's kind of cool. But these little ones here are going to be the ones I'm using. I think they got the T20 Torx bit. I think these are an inch. I think these are an inch. Inch and an eighth, probably. Either way it goes, these are about an eighth inch longer. These uh, pan heads. We've got 600 of these, and each one will take a four of them. It's almost 100, so it'll be about 400 of them. When I put them in there, right now, the depth I've got, I've got about that much sticking out, and if not, just a hair more. But I think that ought to be plenty. Like I said, I can always go deeper if I need to. But uh, I got these sanded and uh, what a little bit of sanding I was going to do, I wasn't going to do much. I didn't sand it all this and stained them and put the uh, oil them and, and put my, my homemade wax on it. Uh, some beeswax and um, some oil mixed together, a mixture with some essential oils. But... Uh, Yeah, go to install these tomorrow, and I do thank you for watching, and uh, I do want to welcome all the new subscribers. Um, hopefully, we can get moving on to some more things. I've been on these for a long time now. I did all these glue ups, and just took a long time. This is all glue here. I've only got, I think I got one nail in one of them that uh, just wasn't coming out quite right, but uh, most of them turned out really, we'll get up where I can see it, really, really good. They did. Really, really good. A lot of gluing. <laughs> but anyway, again, I do thank you for watching. And, uh, it would really help if you like, just subscribe, share, um, comment, questions, any any questions would be fine, you know, and if I can, I'll answer them. If I can't, hopefully somebody else can. <laughs> but I do thank you for watching, and I'll try to get some pictures tomorrow, maybe after I get them installed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to video much over there or not, but uh, I'll see y'all a little further around the mountain. Oh, yeah, I could show you that pile I got before. <laughs> I probably showed you this pile how many times over. But you see the pile, and you see the pile, and you see the pile, and goodness, it just don't stop. But anyway, I'm doing 10 at a time, and I'm putting them over her mother's deal. But again, thanks for watching. Well, hello, friends. I, I finished up those uh, tithe holders today, and... And run them over there is about an hour and a half away over by a little bit of away from london kentucky over there at a beautiful church um i don't know how happy they was with them and i didn't get no video of installing them they decided they're going to install them themselves i don't know if they're going to paint them or try to restain them to the exact color they wanted they wasn't quite happy with the stain that i put on them and uh, that's okay too um, I don't know if they realize how much time I put into them. All that sanding, whoo, <laughs> you end up with a lot of time into something. But uh, that's okay, whether they paint them or restain them, you know they're going to do that. But I wasn't able to get no video of that. And, um, and, and some of that may be my fault, you know. I probably should have made it clear because um, I offered to try to get a stain close to to, to to the wood that they had that the 
to the color of the pews, but uh, they was looking for more of the exact wood that was used for the pews and and things of that nature, and uh, didn't quite agree to that. But uh, that's again, that's my fault. Them things should have been made plain. I was only I only agreed to get a stain that was close to what we could do, you know, the best we could do. But uh, anyway, again, that's that's my fault there. But uh, I left them with a few extras. Uh, I started off with like 102. I needed 88, so I had 102. I had some extras. I knew I'd have a blowout here and a blowout there. And the two extras I left them are not the greatest, but they could be used if they had to be. But uh, they seem like they're going to use them anyway. But that wood, for me, that wood was kind of special that I did use because it come out of a church here in our town that me and my family used to go to that is getting shut down, that has gotten shut down over uh, some mold issues from the basement uh, that held water when it rained real hard. But but the wood itself was really special and, uh, and uh, it turned out really nice, I thought. It just wasn't the exact grain they was looking for. But I hope they use it in some form and fashion anyway whether they paint it or restain it or, or whatever. But uh, just wanted to share that with you. And again, I uh, thank you for all the new subscribers, for the old subscribers, for all your comments, your likes, your questions, you know, and anytime you share uh, anything like that, you know. And uh, hopefully we can get on. I'm going to take a couple of days and rest and, and get on to making, maybe finish those mallets I started again and, start making some boxes uh uh some different kind of boxes than those tithe holders they them was kind of cool boxes the only thing on those tithe holders i'd probably done different if i had a chance is the very bottom i would have made just a little bit thinner if you see them in my videos they're probably a half inch like everything else is maybe a little less you know maybe seven sixteenths or something like that but i would have made them quarter inch maybe um, or just a lot thinner because it didn't need much there but uh, didn't want them to feel like they was getting cheated on wood either everything was a half inch or a little better seemed like but uh, and it was just tithe holders so I could have went thinner but um, they really turned out nice I, I like I like to see wood I like to see the grain you know I'm not too good on colors but I like to see the grain of it sometimes you can see a pretty tint to the wood I there's some cedar I can see some pretty tint to it sometimes. It kind of looks like what I would think would be purple, you know. Uh, I think they call it red cedar most of the time, but it's got a bluish kind of color like the sky that, uh, in the way I see it, you know. Again, my eyes are not that good. But again, I just wanted to share that with you, and um, I do thank you for watching.